sweet story. Jacqueline, let's talk about our forecast now. I know it's rainy and gloomy out there and we were kind of getting used to these sunny days. <laughs> I know, we had about three in a row that started to feel pretty nice. So yesterday we didn't have any rain reported, uh, but as we're looking at the almanac, we see that, yeah, that was pretty atypical for how February has gone so far. We're about twice what we should have received for the month rainfall wise. And for the year, we're about three inches above normal. And I gotta tell you, the rest of February looking pretty soggy and even starting off March with a substantial rain chance. So let's Let's start with today. Here's a look outside of satellite and radar. We're watching as that rain moves into the area and of course all of that cloud cover already here. Right now we're mostly seeing light showers in the triad. As we head towards the foothills, some moderate to heavy rain there and into the mountains seeing that as well with even some of that purple there on your screen indicating that wintry mix that is coming down in some spots in the mountains. So the weather station in Sparta right now is reporting a wintry mix. 30 37 degrees, that temperature there. 46 degrees in Mount Airy. These temperatures will be falling as we head through the next few hours. 48 degrees in Winston-Salem is about as good as it gets. Now we start to see those temperatures fall. High point, 45 degrees, seeing some of those light showers. Also a substantial breeze in some spots, about 10 to 15 miles an hour there. Greensboro, 46 degrees with the wind at 14 miles an hour. So it feels like 40, so it's a very chilly, windy rain. Here's a look at the triad as we head through the next few hours. We see those rain chances increase into the afternoon. They stay high through the evening and then stick around through the early morning hours of tomorrow. Those temperatures falling into the 30s there, but the upper 30s. So wintry mix not expected for the triad or for the foothills. We'll be in the mid 30s as you're waking up in the foothills on your, on your Saturday morning, starting off the weekend there. And as we head towards the mountains, well, that's a little bit of a different story. We are seeing those cooler temperatures, cool enough to justify that wintry weather, so that'll be a concern there. And of course, we were talking about that winter weather advisory earlier, just in effect because of some slick, slushy roadways possible. We're not actually expecting much accumulation, but those high mountain passes and uh, some of those untreated roadways could be a concern. As we're looking at the hour by hour forecast, we see that light rain gets pushed out by some heavier rain. You see those yellows and oranges on your screen. We'll be watching that through the afternoon and into the evening, so just the light rain for a little while longer before this heavier rain moves in and of course in our far northern spots and in the high country seeing some of that wintry mix. Continuing on through the night tonight all the way through the overnight and then into tomorrow morning with those rain showers and then a few more tomorrow before we dry out primarily a few more scattered showers though and I gotta tell you a lot of cloud cover. It is a very messy seven-day forecast rain chances on every single day.